The world looks to the priest because he looks to Jesus. No one can see Christ. But everyone sees the priest, and through him, they wish to catch a glimpse of the world. Hi, my name is Luis Marquez. My name is Tobe Chuku, Jude Ophir. Hi, my name is Randy Nguyen. My name is Caetano Moura de Oliveira. What really led me to discern my calling to be a priest and serve the church as a future priest is being with seminarians and priests and nuns at a very young age and seeing their joy in the church, greeting the people. And one of them got very close with me at a very young age. And in my mind, I told myself, why not? This could be me in the future. Growing up, my, my mom introduced me to the faith, helping me to come to love God even from my childhood. So I grew up in the church, learning about the things of the church, joined the altar server, joined societies within the church, and gradually that love for God continued to grow within me, and it matured to the desire to become a priest. Well, what led me to discern this call was basically to f in feeling love by God. Feeling love, feeling uh, that uh, He had a mission for me, He had a horizon for me. One day I was working in a university because I was doing a part-time job there, and I found a lady that she was crying. I approached to her, and she was telling me that she was pregnant, and she was scared that what the parents was going to say. Then I tried to convince her that one day the baby that she had in, in her womb was going to call her mother. And after a couple months, I saw her that she had a baby. Then it was an experience for me. And I had a connection with God that I was in the right place at the moment to help the, the lady. And now I feel that God was calling me to, to become a priest. My parents were happy that I decided to pursue um, the vocation to the sacred priesthood. It came like a surprise to them because the desire for the priesthood came when I was in college studying accounting and they were expecting their son to graduate being an accountant. But in between, I told them that I want to be a priest. So it was unexpected for them. But when they found out that this is really what I wanted, they were very happy and they went with it. My family's opinion on, on my call was, uh, uh, was great. They were, they were really ecstatic of the Lord choosing me for a path like that. My father, when he was young, he was considering the priesthood. And he told me everything about the church life and Jesus Christ. And I am here, ready to priesthood. My journey to the priesthood had really shaped me, not only spiritually, but really showed how I am as a person, a person of God, and how to serve the church along the way and to show that love of Christ to others. Well, my journey as a, as a priest made, I mean, I'm a functional human being because of that. <laughs> uh, this journey really, uh, I mean, I, I own my life to this journey. Uh, serving in the church, uh, learning about Jesus Christ in the seminary, it has helped me to grow as a person. And I have Jesus in my heart. Jesus Christ uh, commands us to love each other. Then my, my role as a priest is to teach others how to love everyone. I see God having prepared me for the priesthood. And He has prepared me spiritually. He has prepared me intellectually by putting the right people at my path that really helped me to grow spiritually and otherwise. So I'm really grateful to God who has really been with me all through this journey, preparing me for this great vocation to serve His people for His own glory. Prayer is very important in my life because without prayer, we can't do nothing. And with prayer, we're able to have that intimate encounter with God every day of our lives, because He is the one leading us in our journey and our ministry to serve the people of God. The Lord prepared me for this journey, you know? Um, 
especially with the new Catechumen Way, uh, with my community, where spiritually I was nourished, uh, emotionally with my brothers and sisters. When I needed to be corrected, they corrected me. When I needed to be loved, they loved me. When I needed affection, they gave me. You know? uh, <laughs> I mean, the Lord, uh, through the church, really, he gave me the nourishment for this journey. Priest is called to sanctify the people. The priest is called to lead the people of God. And the priest is called to teach God's people. And these are the specific roles that the priests have to play. Celebrating the Mass, which is the beauty of the priesthood, and of course, the sacrament of confession. But I think ultimately is to be with the people of God. Being with the people of God, not only in times of happiness, but in times of difficulty, and walking with them along that journey of life. I really think that, uh, I mean, my decision, I always put in, in between quotes uh, uh, my decision because really I had no decision. It was just a matter of logic, you know, it was garbage versus gold, you know. The Lord was presenting me a beautiful life. I believe my decision of becoming a priest tried to be the face of Christ to others. So I believe that my role as a priest will greatly impact the world, for the world seek peace, the world seek joy, and that is what Christ offers. Come, follow Jesus he is the most important thing in life, and I consider that uh, together we can show others how to love in life. People are drawn by beauty, and the truth is beautiful. Once we are able to live that life of truth, that life of beauty, many will be drawn to it. It's a beautiful life, and I encourage anyone that is here looking into the, at, this, at this video, if the Lord calls you, go for it. It's the best thing you can do. God is calling a lot of young men to be a priest, but just be open to that call. Because just like Christ said, come and see. And when we respond to that call, we can see that intimate encounter with God every day of our lives and to serve Him and to be with Him. So just to be open to that call and to respond to that call.